Hi, I'm Brett Bodine, and we're here today at the NASCAR R&D Center in Concord, North Carolina, to discuss the Car Tomorrow. The Car Tomorrow project being a, a seven-year project that NASCAR undertook with the help of the manufacturers and the race teams to develop a safer car, a more competitive race car, and a more cost-efficient race car for our team owners. Some of the safety items that we've installed in the Car Tomorrow is the fact that the greenhouse area, the roof area of the car, is two and a half inches taller, four inches wider, this provides a much more room for our drivers as they sit inside this race car. The seat in the, in the car tomorrow is moved over towards the center of the car, uh, approximately four inches, to give the driver more room from the left side of the, of the vehicle. Now, between the door skin and the roll cage of the car, there's impacts foam installed to help attenuate the energy through a, a side impact on this car with steel plating on the outside of the door bars and a double frame rail on the left side. Again, all to help protect our drivers, surround the driver in a, in a very safe environment inside this car. Now on the competition side of the Car Tomorrow project, we build into some adjustable aerodynamic devices. One of the most prominent is the rear wing. This wing can be adjusted between zero and 16 degrees of angle. This gives the team's crew chiefs a very tunable aerodynamic device on the back of their car to help balance the car through to uh, achieve driver comfort and driver's needs as track conditions might change uh, throughout an event or throughout an event weekend. Also with this wing we have an adjustable end plate. Now this end plate being cambered uh, can be to help, help the team tune this the balance of the car, aerodynamic balance, through side force, a very important part of the aerodynamics of a race car today. Now as we move to the front of the car we also have another aerodynamic device on the car, which is the front splitter. This front splitter can change the front downforce of the car by the teams adjusting between four and six inches in length. This can change the balance of the car. Up to 20% of aerodynamic balance can be changed through this adjustment. A very important tunable piece for our crew chiefs to work with. The third part of the equation with the Car Tomorrow project was cost management. Uh, through a 200-point inspection process done here at the R&D Center on the chassis alone, uh, that ensures that the, all of the uh, safety elements of the chassis and the standardization of the chassis, which help the teams not need to build track-specific race cars, are, are met. This, this helps the team owners lessen the number of cars it takes in their fleet to compete on the entire circuit. Along with the chassis process, an extensive body uh, inspection process done at the racetrack by the NASCAR officials ensures that body manipulation and the track specific tuning through the body panels and, and moving them around is not achieved. So as you can see the Car Tomorrow project a very extensive three-part process but keying off of safety through the entire project. 